Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield moveset video. Today's video is going to be all about the Bite Pokemon Dreadnaw, so let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Dreadnaw is a water rock type Pokemon with access to three abilities, the first of which being Strong Jaw, which is an ability that increases the power of biting moves like Crunch and Ice Fang by 50%. And its second ability is on his shell armor, which makes it so that this Pokemon can never be the recipient of a critical hit. Finally, for its hidden ability, it is on a Swift Swim, which doubles this Pokemon's speed while Rain is up on the battlefield, making it a very strong option when using this Pokemon on a Rain team. As for its stats though, defensively this Pokemon is pretty good, with a base 90 HP, 90 defense, and 68 special defense, so it definitely has the ability to take hits pretty well, though it isn't going to be an amazing dedicated wall like maybe some of the other Pokemon introduced into Pokemon Sword and Shield. But offensively, it has a really fantastic base 115 physical attack stat, allowing it to hit very hard with the numerous physical moves it has access to. However, its special attack is only base 48, so you aren't going to get too much use out of that, and really the only time you would really ever even use a special attack with this Pokemon is if you run it with Scald just for the chance to burn, which can be very beneficial. As for its speed stat though, it is base 74, which actually isn't that bad for a Pokemon like Dreadnought, considering the fact that it has multiple ways of boosting its speed, whether it be through the use of Rock Polish or just being under the effects of rain with the Swift Swim ability, so it is definitely a very usable speed stat, though out of the gate, it's not going to be one of the fastest things on the battlefield. But with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, we're going to be running Dreadnought as a defensive utility Pokemon to allow it to set up hazards, spread status, and tank hits. And we can do this either physically or especially defensive. So if we're going to go physically defensive, we're going to run an Impish Nature to increase our physical defense below our special attack. And if we go specially defensive, we'll go with the Careful Nature to boost our special defense and lower our special attack. And for the ability, Shell Armor works fantastic on this set to make it so that you can never be the recipient of a critical hit as you are trying to tank hits from your opponents. As for the EVs, we're going to put 240 into its HP stat, max either its physical defense or special defense depending on which way you want to go here, and then put the remainder 16 EVs into your speed stat to make you just a little bit faster and able to outspeed the base 75 speed Pokemon you fall just short of outpacing. And for the item on the set, we're going to go ahead and run leftovers for that added recovery at the end of every turn. As for the moves though, the first thing that we're going to use is going to be Stealth Rock to allow us to set up hazards on our opponent's side of the field to make it so that they'll take damage every single time they switch in. Now there is a little bit of a side note here that if you do actually use the Gigantamax version of Dreadnought and Gigantamax it, you can actually set up rocks by using a water move and it can free up a move slot, however you then waste your Dynamax or Gigantamax on this particular Pokemon for a defensive reason, so it's really kind of a double-edged sword which way you want to do it, but Stealth Rock is the more direct way of doing so. As for the main attacks though, we have a Stab Water option in either Razor Shell over Liquidation because it, have a, it has a greater chance to lower defense and this is more of a supportive set, not a fully offensive one. So that defense drop, which can occur more frequently with Razor Shell, can benefit another teammate or just allow Dreadnought to do more damage than it normally would because it will get that drop more frequently. But Waterfall is another great option as it has a chance to flinch, which can be great when used in combination with another move on this set, which I'll talk about in a second. But lastly, we have Scald as a great option as well, even though it's using our special attack, because that chance to burn is just amazing, and it's almost sometimes too good to pass up, even on a Pokemon that isn't specially offensive. Along with this, though, we have a Stab Rock move here in the form of Stone Edge or Rock Slide, but more importantly is the last move that you pick on the set. Body Slam is the first option I'm going to list because it has a great chance to paralyze your opponents, that being 30%, and that can work in combination to allow you to cripple your opponent's speed stat significantly, while also allowing you some other options if you go ahead and run Waterfall and Rock Slide with the set as well, because those have a chance to flinch along with the chance to paralyze from Body Slam, so you can essentially lock an opponent down potentially if you get those chances to occur. We also have Body Press, which I'll recommend using for the physically defensive set because it'll be a strong fighting type move based off your physical defense. We also have Dragon Tail here to allow us to phase opponents out of battle, which is great when combined with the Stealth Rock that you're setting up to make sure that something switches in and takes damage in the process. And we even have Counter here as an option too, again more specifically on the physically defensive set, to allow you to dish some damage back that you take from an opponent using a physical attack. But all these options allow the set to function incredibly well as a defensive Pokemon, whether it being physically defensive or to a lesser extent, but still useful, especially defensive. Moving on to the second move set of this video, I'll be showing off another defensive set for this Pokemon, but one that seeks to boost its defenses to actually make it more bulky and even more powerful. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a careful nature to boost its special defense and lower its special attack, and for the ability going with either Strong Jaw or Shell Armor this time. 
As for the EVs though, we're going to go ahead and put 240 into its HP again, 252 into its special defense, and 16 into its speed stat to again give it its maximum special defense possible, while enough speed to outspeed base 75 speed Pokemon. And again, Leftovers is going to be our item of choice to allow this Pokemon to increase its HP at the end of every turn. As for the moves though on the set, since we are running it specially defensive, we have the privilege of being able to run a move like Iron Defense to boost our physical defense even further. And this will boost your physical defense by two stages, which will then power up the main attack on the set, which is Body Press, a move that is based off of your defense stat as opposed to your physical attack stat, but it is a physical attacking move. And this is a great way to allow this Pokemon to come inc become incredibly bulky while also boosting its attack power. Along with this though, we have Razor Shell as another great option, again because it can lower your defense a little bit more frequently than Liquidation can on a set like this, as again we're not really running a lot of offensive investment, just the defensive investment to boost our body press's power. But Crunch is also a great option here, which will be increased in power if you use the Strong Jaw ability, and this combined with the fighting coverage of body press gives you some really, really great neutral offensive coverage. Along with this though, Body Slam is another great option, again for the chance to paralyze, as you can never really go wrong with that, and then obviously also running a Stab Rock move if you would like to in the last move slot here as well. But overall this set can just become incredibly tanky and very powerful as you are boosting your defense stat, running a bunch of EVs in your special defense to make you difficult to kill from that side, and thus trying to set up in some way to make yourself able to deal a ton of damage in the process as your opponent tries to take you down through your boosted defenses. Now because of this Pokemon's great natural bulk, it makes it a perfect candidate for an Assault Vest set that makes use of some of its great attacking options. So for this one, we're going to start by giving it an Adamant Nature to boost its physical attack but lower its special attack, and running the Strong Jaw ability this time. As for the EVs, again, we're going to put 240 into our HP and 16 into our speed to give us a little bit more bulk and speed, but this time we're going to be maxing our physical attack with 252 EVs into that. Ever the item, going with the Assault Vest, as this will allow us to boost our special defense at the cost of not being able to use non-attacking moves, but this Pokemon has some great offensive options that this really isn't going to be a drawback, and actually it will allow this Pokemon to take hits very well while dishing out a ton of damage in the process. So again for the moves, even though we're again running a more offensive set, I still think Razor Shell is the better option on this one, but Waterfall again can be great for the chance to flinch, and even honestly running Scald because that burn chance is that good that you could even potentially run it on a set like this one, though it won't allow you to really do a ton of damage with it, but being able to burn stuff is just that good like I said. Along with this though, Stone Edge and Rock Slide again are going to be your main stab rock type moves, not going with Head Smash just yet because we don't want to take the recoil damage as this set is supposed to tank hits pretty well, so we will try to minimize the amount of damage we take by running either Stone Edge or Rock Slide, again for the reasons stated previously, and then for your third attack, we have Crunch, Bite, and Ice Fang, all of which are moves that will be boosted by your Strong Jaw ability. Crunch, obviously the stronger dark type option that can also lower your opponent's defense, which is great, but Bite also will be boosted and have has a chance to flinch your opponent, which can again work in combination with Body Slam as the last move option on the set to potentially paralyze opponents and then flinch them with some of your other attacks like Waterfall, Rock Slide, and Bite. Along with this though, Ice Fang is a great ice type coverage option, it also has a chance to flinch and it could even freeze opponents, but more specifically this is there to allow you to hit those grass type Pokemon that would threaten you for a 4 times super effective move due to your water rock typing. But all these moves in combination with each other, in along with your Assault Vest item, will allow this Pokemon to tank hits very well and deal a ton of damage in the process. Moving on to some more offensive sets for this Pokemon, Dreadnought is actually a perfect candidate for a choice item, such as a choice band or a choice scarf, due to its pretty great all-around offensive stats and ability to make use of the Swift Swim ability to be incredibly threatening with rain up on the battlefield. So for this set, we're either going to start with a Jolly Nature to boost its speed but lower its special attack, or an Adamant Nature to boost your physical attack but lower your special attack, and for the ability, if you're going to go with the non-rain variant, I'd recommend Strong Jaw, but if you're going to go with the I'm going to use this on a rain team variant, Swift Swim is definitely the way to go. As for the EVs, we're going to max our physical attack and speed with 252 EVs into both of those, and put the remainder 4 into your special defense. And for the item, run either a Choice Band to boost your physical attack while locking you into a move, or a Choice Scarf to boost your speed while locking you into a move. Choice Band is even more potent, by the way, when running this on a rain team because you will obviously have access to some incredibly powerfully boosted moves while also having your speed boosted by having the Swift Swim ability, but both options still work in and out of rain as well. As for the moves though, Head Smash is going to be your main rock type stab move as it is insanely powerful, but also has recoil associated with it, 
Still though, with a Choice Band, this move is going to do a ton of damage, and with a Choice Scarf, you're still going to do a ton of damage, but you're going to outspeed a bunch more things, making it even more threatening. But if you don't like the recoil, Stone Edge is definitely a great secondary option, as it also does have a greater chance to critically hit opponents, which can be very beneficial. Now finally though, for our main stab water move, we're going to run Liquidation here, just because the added power is going to allow us to make sure that we can secure a few more KOs than we normally would. Along with this then, we have Crunch and Ice Fang as a move that will allow us to have some additional type coverage, both of which also being boosted by Strong Jaw. And for your last move slot, we have quite a few different options. Ice Fang again can be run here, but we can also go along with Earthquake for the ground type coverage, Mega Horn for a very powerful bug type coverage move, or even running Super Power on this Pokemon to allow it to have a powerful fighting type move at its disposal. But all of these attacks in combination with a choice item make this Pokemon very threatening and a very potent sweeper potentially even while Rain is up on the battlefield. Finally, for the last move set of this video, I'm going to be showing off a powerful boosting set for Dreadnought that it can run two different ways to increase its speed and or increase its physical offense dramatically and make it very threatening to go up against. So we're going to start this one off again with either the Jolly or Adamant Nature, the Strong Jaw or Swift Swim ability, and the same EV spread as before to maximize our physical attack and speed stats. But for the item, we're including a few different things this time since we're not really choice locked here. So a life orb is the best way to just boost the damage of all of your attacks at the cost of losing 10% of your health every time you damage an opponent, but a Lemberry can be a pretty safe option to allow you to rid yourself of a status you might get afflicted with while trying to set up. Along with this though, a Citrus Berry can also be another great option for the 25% recovery you get when you fall below 50% of your HP, which can be very useful when combined with the recoil from Head Smash, which is very interesting to consider, but for a more reliable every turn recovery option, Leftovers is also there. Finally, because this Pokemon is making use of a Stab Rock move that only has base 80 accuracy, a Blunder policy can also be incorporated into the set just in case you end up missing with either Head Smash or Stone Edge, and this will turn what would normally be a pretty bad thing in missing your opponent into a speed boost for you, thus augmenting your offensive ability even further. As for the main boosting moves of our set though that are going to be more consistent than running an item like this, Rock Polish is going to be a great way to boost your speed by two stages, but just running Rain Dance on your own along with Swift Swim can allow you to also boost your speed while also increasing the power of your water moves now that the rain will be up. But if we want to go with a more offensive, powerful variant, Swords Dance is there to boost your physical attack by two stages. And this particular version would actually be amazing when running it along with a rain team if your teammates are setting up rain, such as if you're using something like Pelipper, to allow you to just come in, make use of your Swift Swim boost that you already have, boost your physical offense further, and just try and sweep from there. But along with that, again, Head Smash and Stone Edge are your main stab rock type moves, and then we have Liquidation here as our main powerful water type physical attack. But we also have Crunch again as another option for coverage. Lastly though, again, Ice Fang is there as another coverage option that's also boosted by Strong Jaw, and we have Earthquake for a great ground type coverage option, and Mega Horn for a great bug type coverage option as well, to give you a little bit of variety in the moveset that you are incorporating with this particular Pokemon. And like I said, whether you run the Swift Swim variant or the Strong Jaw variant, this Pokemon has some amazing boosting options to allow it to be very fast and very powerful, and potentially allow it to sweep on prepared teams. But anyways, everybody, that is it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Dreadnought is probably one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, so I was very excited to get this video out to you all. But as always, everybody, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.